Okay, Assalamualaikum and hi, my name is Mama Izzah Rohaizi Ben Omar uh, from group 30 and 14. Uh, so, I will present about chapter 6, uh, Benefit and Rewards in Korea. For statutory, first, uh, holiday entertainment. Uh, they have two. For A, mandatory paid holidays are weekly holidays, uh, typically Sunday. Uh, second, Labor Day, uh, 1 May. Employees must receive 15% additional pay for 8 hours work on a holiday and 100% 100 additional pay for exceeding 8 hours work on a holiday. An employee who works a full year is entitled to 15 days of annual paid leave. An employee who has not complete a full year of work or has less than 80% attendance rate in a year is entitled to one day of annual paid leave per month of employment with perfect attendance. An employee with uh, over three years of service is, is entitled to an additional uh, one day of paid leave uh, for every two years following the first year uh, to a maximum of 25 days. Okay, next for B is uh, public holidays. Employees with 300 or more employees must provide their employees with paid holiday on public holidays. Okay, for number two is illness and injury of employees. Okay, A, entitlement to time off for non-work related illness or injury. Employees are not entitled to time off in relation to non-work related illness or injuries. However, it is general practice to provide time off in relation to non-work related illness and injury by ROE. Okay, for B, uh, entitlement to paid time off for work related illness or injury. The employee is obligated to provide paid time off until the employee recovers from work related illness and injury. However, uh, industrial accident compensation insurance uh, covers all payments associated with work related illness or injury. Employees are obligated to subscribe to this insurance. Okay, uh, next for C, recovery of sick pay from the state. The industrial accident compensation insurance covers uh, relevant sick pay incurred uh, in relation to work related illness or injury. Okay, next uh, for number three is restriction on working time. Uh, there are three sections for A, uh, working hours. The LSA imposes a maximum 40 hour working week and 8 hour day. Generally, an employee can agree to an additional 12 hours a week in overtime. The employer must pay an additional 50% of ordinary wages for overtime. Night work is work performed between uh, 10 uh, p.m. to and 6 a.m. Uh, the employee must pay an additional 50% of ordinary wages for night work. Okay, for B is rest breaks. Uh, there is a required rest break of 1 hour for each 8 hours of work or 30 minutes for each 4 hours of work. Okay, last uh, for C is uh, shift workers. There is no exception for shift workers in the application of working hours provisions. Uh, there are some flexible working hour arrangements under which working time can exceed 40 hours uh, per week or 8 hours per day but only if average hours per week during a longer period do not exceed 40 hours. However, this is subject to certain restrictions such as the requirement to obtain the employee representative consent. Okay, for the last uh, number four is continuous period of employment. Okay, they have, they have uh, two elements. Uh, first, statutory right created. Uh, the employer is obligated uh, to make a severance payment to an employee who has worked for them for one year or more. The severance payment must be equivalent to at least 30 days. Uh, average wages uh, for each year of continuous employment. Uh, severance payment are made uh, on the termination of employment regardless of the reason for the termination. 
the number of days of annual leave can increase depending on the numbers of years of continuous employment up to a maximum of 25 days per year okay for num for b consequence for of a transfer of employee Uh, there is no legislation re relating to the transfer of the employment relationship. However, the courts generally find that in the case of a business transfer, unless the relevant employee personally object to the transfer of the employment relationship, uh, the employment relationship between the employer and the employer is comprehensively and automatically transferred to the transferee of the business. The courts interpret uh, business transfer to mean uh, the transfer of a company's business assets, uh, generally including tangible and intangible properties and rights, customer relationship, relationship with sup suppliers, trade secrets, business organizations, uh, and goodwill having an economic value according to a specific business purpose. In most business transfer, a comprehensive bulk transfer to all the assets and liabilities is made, including all the goodwill and personnel. Okay, we move to the financial rewards. Okay, the first one is minimum paid holiday entitlement. Employee must receive 15% uh, additional for 8 hours work on holiday and 100% pay for exceeding 8 hours work on holiday. The second one is bonus. Okay, bonus are not mandatory in South Korea, though many companies offer them to incentivize and reward performance. Okay, the, the third one is wage. The minimum wage rate is set each year under the minimum wage a, uh, wage act. Okay, it also uh, applies to all employees with very limited exception. Example, employee in their probationary period. Okay, okay, the minimum hourly wage rate from 1st January 2020 is KRW 5, uh, 8590. Okay, I will continue my part which is non-financial rewards. Okay, Korea has two non-financial rewards which is rest break and uh, flexible working. Okay, the rest break, there is required rest break uh, for 1 hour for 8 hours of work or 30 minutes for each four hour of work okay the second one is flexible working employees are eligible for parental leave can generally choose to work reduce hour for two years either taking a parental leaving okay employee also can request to reduce their working hour to care for their family or themselves or they also can prepare for retirement when they are each 55 years old or older uh, or they can uh, also pursue an academic career uh, for up for one year reduce working hours should okay and then they also can reduce working hours should be between 15 to 15 hours to 13 hours per week okay we move to the next one is optional benefit okay entitlement to to time of non-work related illness or injury okay in korea employees are not entitled to time off in relation of non-work related illness or injuries it is general practice to provide time off in relation to non-work related illness and injury by roe okay the second one is entitlement to pay uh, to pay time of work related illness or injury Okay, in Korea, the employer is obligated to provide paid time off until the employer recover from any injuries or any illness. However, this industrial accident compensation insurance cover all payment associated with work-related illness or injury and employer are obligated to subscribe uh, to this insurance. Okay, the third one is recovery of sick pay from the state. Okay, the industrial accident compensation insurance cover relevant sick pay incurred in relation to work related illness or injury. And the last one is retirement benefit. Okay, according to the Employment Re Retirement Benefit Security Act, 
retirement pension plan is to be enforced after December 2005. Okay, here uh, I will um, show you the current pension system in Korea. Okay, that's all from my group for the benefit and rewards in Korea. Thank you.